this is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man, and today we're going to be doing Otter Creek Stovepipe Porter. As we know, Otter Creek is from Middlebury, Vermont. They do a half a dozen beers. This is one of their beers that's in their year-round um, lineup. They do have some seasonals that they do other times of the year. And we know that porters are very close to stouts. If you go back in history, they were very similar. This style became called Porter because in England and London, the, the people that loaded the boats, the porters, or people who drank this beer. This will be a very dark beer. Again, much like a stout, we'll expect it to be roasted malt. It should be very dark, very strong. This beer is um, 4.4 ABV, so it should be fairly light in alcohol. It is uh, 28 on the IBA, IBU scale, so it shouldn't be that hoppy. And um, let's give it a try, see what we've got. Let's see what the Brewmaster's whipped up for us today. Like I said, very dark. You can see that even pouring. A rich chocolatey head looking to... Quite a bit of head on it. Nice lacing. Almost a dark ruby. If you can look at it to the light, and you can't, I know you can't see it through the camera, but if you get it to the light, it's almost um, like a blood red, a dark, dark red. A lot of times I like stouts or porters. That's what I'll have for dessert if I'm at a brew pub. My last beer of the night will be a stout. I actually do get a little bit of the hop from it. I'm surprised. I'm definitely getting that roasted almost, it actually almost smells like coffee, like that coffee malt. So this is a roasted dark malt. And we're going to expect to get some coffee flavors from it when we dive into it. Yeah, the first flavor is that roasted malt. Oh, definitely, and definitely get that coffee roasted coffee flavor. If you've ever drank black coffee, you would recognize it in this particular beer. And then right after that, you do get a nice shot of hot flavor coming in from, they actually use a Cascade, a Willamette, and a, I forget the third hop off the top of my head. But they use three different hops on this. They're all American hops. A little bit bitter in the aftertaste. And then the, the very final aftertaste is going to be that burnt flavor from the roasted malt. So you're going to get that dark chocolate, I mean that dark coffee, and maybe just a hint of chocolate up front. You get the bur burst of bitter, and then your aftertaste is going to be, is going to be the uh, roasted. So a little bit of the smoky roasted flavor, the burnt flavor. Getting some nice lacing left on the head, on the side of the glass. The, um, with, for, for a stout or a porter, it's the middle of the road. I say I'd give it three caps. You wouldn't pour it out if you opened one up. It's not the best I've ever had, but it's definitely, it is drinkable. Nice mouthfeel on it. It's a, like I said, very dark, malty. Smoky, rich, espresso flavoring porter. Not very sweet. Sometimes they're a little bit sweeter. Again, three caps. You could drink it. And then until next time, this is the amazing beer drinking, man.